G'day Sir Kids, I'm Jono. This is your time to make your body and your brain strong with circus. Today, you'll need a pillow or a cushion. Hey, big person, can I have my pillow, please? Make sure your big person is around to help you and keep you safe. Gee, thanks, big person. Can you get your pillow from your bed or a cushion from the couch? Then ask your big person just to check there's nothing around you that you might hit. Have you got your pillow? Great! What else could our pillow be apart from a pillow? Our pillow could be a big squishy friend and we can give it a big hug. Our pillow could be a briefcase for a very important business meeting. Oh, business, business, business. Business, business, business. Our pillow could be a horse. Whoa there, Nugget. <laughs> I use my pillow to help me relax. What's your favorite way to relax? Really? Would you like to know my favorite way to relax? Let's have some fun with circus and I'll tell you at the end. Normally, we put our head on the pillow. But what happens if we put the pillow on our head? Can you balance the pillow and slowly turn around in a circle? Let's go back the other way. Hold the pillow in your hands. Make sure there's nothing around you you can hit. And let's do a little throw and catch with our pillow. Let's throw a little bit higher. And higher. Hold the pillow by the corners and do a little throw and catch that way. Let's do a little spin with our pillow and catch it like that. And now spin the pillow the other way. Is there another way you can spin your pillow? Let's use our pillow to turn into a tortoise. Stretch your legs way up into the sky. Now touch your toes on the ground behind your head. Do that two more times. Pick your pillow up and lie on your back. Let's do some throws and catches with our hands. Put your pillow on your feet and catch it with your hands. Here's a tricky one. Throw the pillow with your hands and catch it on your feet. This one may take a bit more practice. Put your pillow on the ground, your knees on the pillow, your toes stretched out behind you, and your hands flat on the ground. Let's push off our toes and do some bunny hops, bouncing our hips up nice and high in the air. If we push our hands hard into the ground, maybe we can float slowly on the way down. Can you float even slower? 
put your pillow behind you, face away from your pillow with your feet apart and your legs nice and straight, hold on to your ankles, and we are going to try a clown roll. We bring our shoulders sideways to the ground, pivot over to our other leg on the ground, and sit up. Now you should be sitting on your pillow. Let's do that two more times. That's a lot of fun. Put your knees on one side of the pillow, your elbows and your forearms on the other side of the pillow, Keeping your body nice and straight, lift your knees off the ground for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that one more time. Make sure you keep your body very straight. One, two, three, four, five. Move your pillow so it's stretched far away from you. Stand up and take one big step back. Let's learn a small handstand. Let's try four steps. Step one is put your hands up so your shoulders touch your ears and your arms are strong and straight. Step two, let's take a big lunge step forward. Step three, lift your back leg off the ground. And step four, put your hands on the ground and then lift your legs up and tap them together. Let's try that two more times. Step one, step two, step three, step four. One more time, step one, Step two, step three, step four. Thanks for hanging out with me. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that's right. I was going to tell you my favorite way to relax. It's with circus. I have fun doing circus and fun helps me relax. Don't forget to keep practicing everything we did today and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.